Bam! Back around with Terrell Owens, 96 overall NFL playoffs player review. You can't get this card through the set and get three Nat players back. But I would recommend only do that if you have some players you want and you're going to keep. If not, just go pick them up separately. If you have the coins and you're a top tier team trying to win Wicked League games and stuff like that and you're going to play competitive, I would say this card is probably a must have with his 96 catching traffic um, and his 94 spec catch or both stock. And he has all of his route runnings over 89. So they're all going to be 90 and up. His jumping is going to be a 94. So this card is going to play different than others, I believe. It did for me. The animations he got were a little bit different. You saw the beginning. That spec catch. That's not very common animation. So he's going to get a little bit better animations than other cards. Um, comparing him to Randy Moss, they're going to be pretty similar. Moss is going to be a little bit faster, one inch taller. But I'm going to tell you, 91 catching traffic compared to the 96 catching traffic, I think that 95 threshold there is going to be a big difference. I did see him hang on some balls that I don't think Moss really would. Moss might be a better over the top guy, but I think. Owens going to be more across the middle, hanging on the ball kind of player. So, guys, as we get to the review here, we're going to look at some of the plays he made for me. And his carrying, guys, I didn't have him to put the ball on the ground. He took quite a few his sticks. I've had him for a couple days now. He did not fumble a lot. So, that's not going to be an issue with this card. His catch and traffic is going to be A minus. Like I said, guys, you see that animation? That's not something you see very often. So, this card is kind of special in that way. I had a really good experience with this card. His elusiveness being 86 is going to be just good enough. His step form is a 92, guys. So, you can utilize that as you're getting down the sideline as well. His moves are going to be pretty good for his spin and juke. So he's going to be great after the ball. He's not going to be a stiff board running down the field. He is going to get you some different animations. This is going to make him separate. His spec catch is going to be a B plus. You saw him make the one at the beginning of the video. But don't rely on it. Don't throw that up 15 times and think you're going to win the game just by throwing a spec catch. This is not Madden 16. This is Madden 20. So, but is he going to get the animation more than others? I would say yes. He is going to be better in that category you see he hangs on to the ball there which is pretty crazy um making that kind of catch his break tackles me a b plus as you see guys he did break some tackles for me in this video so that could be a game changer compared to other wide receivers and right here he's not going to get caught that break tackle could make a difference when you get a touchdown and not a touchdown so his, B's, his moves are going to be a B plus, guys, because he's going to be able to do that. He's in cop from behind there by Sean Taylor. So if you do run a top tier team, I do recommend powering up. I do recommend boosting his speed through team, you know, team teams and through abilities, chemistries, not abilities, but chemistry and powering him up. I would recommend that. Overall, guys, he's going to be an A. I really enjoyed this card. I recommend go get him. I had no issue with him. He's going to make my team. As always, guys, help others for no reason. There's enough hate in the world. We don't need no more hate. Especially the Madden community, guys. Let's support each other. Help each other grow. We're going to grow this community together. We're all in it for the long run. So let's just uh, band together and help each other. And I'm not talking negative about each other. Negative, just a positive, right? Good vibes are always going to be a lot more helpful. Let's get this to 100 likes, guys. Terrell Owens or Randy Moss is the question. I will pick Terrell Owens over Randy Moss, personally. Jones is super good. I love that card, actually. They're going to play pretty similar, but overall, I barely give the edge to Terrell Owens. But if you get Julio Jones, you're not going to be wrong there. 
Now, Marvin Jones, I would say, is not near this card because this catching traffic is also an, only an 85. He's not going to get the same animations as Terrell Owens, so definitely Terrell Owens over him. Jerry Rice. Nice Rice. I'll pick him over Rice as well. His speed is going to be... Rice is going to be a little bit too slow, and I did have better animations with Owens. As always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.